Now we'll look at how to set up the virtual lab environment. We want to have a final system that resembles this picture. We will have our management server, the SMS host, running on VirtualBox and defined by Vagrant. We will have two client VMs also running on VirtualBox. And we'll have a virtual switch managed by VirtualBox that allows these three VMs to talk to each other. This will emulate a private network which would be used in an HPC system. Our desktop machine that is hosting the VirtualBox also has a NAT that translates the traffic from the VM through our primary interface to the internet to allow these virtual machines to have internet access if they need it. For now we'll concentrate on deploying the SMS host. Although this VM can be used as a final management server in a physical HPC system, it is not necessary. But it is important to note that it is feasible that you could use this virtual machine tweak a few parameters and have it run a live deployment system for you. The virtual infrastructure that we're using in the virtual lab is not required for a final HPC system, but it does bring the features of an HPC cluster to your desktop. The first step we want to follow is to download Oracle's VirtualBox. We've chosen VirtualBox because it's a cross-platform Type 2 hypervisor that is open source it supports many of the mainstream host operating systems such as Windows, Linux, Mac, and Solaris. So you shouldn't have any difficulty in getting this running on most mainstream machines. Once VirtualBox is installed, we have the framework for running all the virtual machines in our cluster. Whereas you could create a VM inside VirtualBox Manager or through the command line using VBox Manage, there's no guarantee that there'll be parity between your created VM and the VM that is expected in this guide. So to ensure that you have configuration parity between your VM and the one that we reference in the guide, we'll be using a tool called Vagrant. You can download Vagrant for your operating system. Again, Vagrant is not required for your final HPC system, but it does allow us in this virtual lab to ensure that we have parity across all of our virtual machines because it defines the virtual machine parameters for us. Remember to download the Vagrant version that is for your host machine and not for the CentOS VM that we're going to be deploying. Once you install Vagrant, you might need to reboot your computer. All the parameters that Vagrant uses to define a virtual machine are stored in a file called a Vagrant file. There are two options to obtain the testbed virtual machine settings from the Vagrant file that is hosted in the GitHub repository. The easiest way is to use Git to clone the HPC ecosystem's open HPC repository. This is also the recommended method for groups. For this, we will need to install Git. Once you've downloaded VirtualBox, Vagrant, and Git, we have the entire framework we need for this virtual cluster. The next step is to clone the Git repository to pull down the necessary configuration files. The first step is to find your preferred Git root for the guide. I've used my home directory with OpenHPC hands on subdirectory. This I will refer to as my Git root. Once you've decided on your Git root, we need to initialize the Git repository. We initialize the Git repository and we add the remote repo which stores the files and the settings that we will need for this virtual lab. We're going to check out the student branch because we do not need all the backend files. And now we're ready to pull the student branch from the repo. And there we go. We now have a subdirectory called student, which has all the necessary files for the virtual lab. The most important files right now is setnv.c and vagrant file. setnv.c is not a C file, it's a normal text file, but I've added the .c extension so certain text editors will give context highlighting. Vagrant file is the actual file we use to define our VM. It is a text file and it has all the configuration parameters that we've defined already for our virtual machine. The other files here are the virtual appliance parameters for VirtualBox for the two PXE boot compute nodes and the Slurm configuration file. At this point we've got the virtual lab framework and we're ready to go. Just to recap, we've downloaded VirtualBox to host our VMs. Vagrant, which configures our VMs, and the Vagrant file, which is predefined parameters for our virtual machine.